I go grocery shopping, I make sure to make a list because it is very important to stay within budget for me. Um, I kind of go through my cabinets to see what I'm low in. And then I also keep in mind of the recipes that I'll be making for the week. That way, when I'm in the grocery stores, I'm not just mindlessly shopping and ultimately spending more money than intended. So if you follow me on Instagram, um, you'll know that I love to go to farmer's markets for multiple reasons. Shopping at farmer's markets is a great way to support support your local farmers and communities while enjoying fresh and nutritious produce. In the recent years, it's been a growing interest in mine to try to be more sustainable and just, you know, do my part in the community. So one of the main reasons why I love going to farmers markets is because of the fresh, nutritious produce. Most of the stuff that are in big name brand stores have a lot of additives and just unnecessary chemicals and things to quote keep them fresh but they really just are very harmful to you and they're just unnecessary. So farmers markets offer a wide variety of fresh fruits and vegetables that are often grown locally and harvested at like the peak of their ripeness so that means that the produce is packed with nutrients and flavor making it healthy and tastier option than the store-bought produce that may have traveled a long distance and kept in storage for days and also there have been many exotic fruits and vegetables that I learned about and got to taste over the years so it's always something to look forward to when I shop and another reason why I like going is because you can support your local farmers and just be more involved in your community because by shopping at farmers markets you are supporting local farmers and their families and and many small scale farmers struggle to compete with like these large businesses. So when they do these farmers markets, it kind of provides a little income for them. I don't know. Some of the people that I met at these farmers markets are just really nice. And you can often form a relationship after a while. And sometimes they'll even give you stuff for free or give you stuff to taste. Or you'll like learn more about where you can find other fresh produce. So it's just nice to get to to know the people that you're getting your food from another big reason is because many small farmers who sell at these markets use sustainable agricultural practices so that means like crop rotation companion planting and natural press control and these practices help protect the soil reduce harmful chemicals so pretty much shopping at farmers markets is just good for you good for your health good for the environment and your community so it's like why not check out what you already have available around you potentially build a healthier relationship not only with your food but your communities if you're curious about more farmers market content you can always check out my instagram at vegan where i post a lot of farmers market vlogs and kind of what it's like shopping so when i'm done shopping i'll cross off anything that i already purchased and sometimes farmers markets don't carry everything that i need so for the additional items i'll go to other stores to get the rest so here are some of the stores that I like to shop at and it honestly just depends on my mood, the day, the budget that I have. But today I chose Aldi's to get the rest of my ingredients because I was in a rush and it's really close to my house. So when I get home, this is the time to organize and clean anything that needs to get thrown out as well as um, cleaning any produce or getting the wax off of things like apples, cucumbers, peppers, or you can also use this time to meal prep anything that you know you're going to need for the week. So I set everything on my counter that way I can show you guys exactly what I got from the farmer's market and the grocery store. So this grocery haul was a little bigger than usual because um, I am also trying to go to the gym, which means I Need to eat more and i am not the only vegan in the house i have a roommate which we pretty much share our food and meals so i wanted to make sure that there was enough for both of us for a few weeks so guys let me be real i'm not perfect and i'm learning every day to be more eco-friendly so um, i'm trying to use less and less of these plastic bags when going grocery shopping but i always forget to bring my damn recyclable bag so Yes, don't come for me um, day by day, trying to get better, but you know, it's a learning progress just like everything else in life. 
most of the things that i bought are fresh produce or whole foods i'm actually trying to cut down on the vegan processed foods because they're not that great for you even though i may have like vegan cheese here and there or something like that i just listen to my body and kind of just vibe it out but ultimately i'm trying to have like an 80 percent whole food diet and like 20 percent of comfort foods and things that i just like something that i like to keep in mind when shopping is checking the ingredients of something that i'm buying because a lot of the marketing in stores just lie to you or say healthy this healthy that and then when you check the back of the ingredients there's a whole bunch of fillers additives and just weird ass chemicals that i can't pronounce so i try to do my best with keeping that to a limited like foreign ingredients or stuff that i just don't need even though here and there like i said i may buy like a vegan ice cream or a vegan something that's like maybe a little unhealthy but i know that and consciously i'll try to limit myself and how much i eat that at the end of the day it's all about balance you know there may be weeks where i'm eating super healthy and then there may be other weeks where maybe not so much but it's all about listening to your body and just making sure that you're figuring out what works for you everything that i know now didn't come to me all in one day i had to learn i had to fail i had to do my research and kind of figure it out on my own so set some time aside to really take your health in consideration and figure out what you need to do to make sure that you feel your best after shopping all day i was super hungry so i just had a leftover breakfast burrito that i made a few days ago and then i also had a mango which was so freaking good this mango was juicy it was sweet it was just everything that i needed for this long ass morning so after grocery shopping me and the fam wanted to go to the beach so we're just packing up some stuff and i'm just doing a little bit of prep before we head out i'm really trying to get in the habit of cleaning my veggies and my fruits because unfortunately there are so many pesticides and just weird ass shit on our fruit and vegetables that doesn't need to be there so yes clean your fruit wash your fruit eat your fruit enjoy your fruit <laughs> oh wait, it's the vlog. It's the vlog and huh? So after this long Sunday, me and my family decided to go to the beach to enjoy the rest of our day. It was a really beautiful day just to be outside in nature, so it was so much fun. I ended up packing us some snacks for the beach, and if you guys want to check that out, make sure to go to my Instagram. I go over how to make the sandwiches and the guac pretzels and i love having sandwiches with pickles so i brought the whole jar and then we also had some fruit so we kind of just enjoyed our snacks enjoyed the view vibed out for a little bit and it was a good time So one of my favorite places is to go to the beach. It's my happy place. It's where I feel at peace. Um, so I thought doing some meditation, meditation, <laughs> meditation and yoga would be perfect. Did that for a little bit and ended up falling asleep because that's how real it was. Every time. 
I was really feeling good on the drive back home because lately life's been a little crazy but moments like this just remind me that everything is going to be okay and that I'm okay so I was kind of just enjoying the drive back home really being in the present moment and just really grateful for the loved ones that I have around me and for the life that I'm currently living so the drive back home was just a vibe
so i hope you guys enjoy these types of videos i like to create videos like this so you guys can see firsthand what it's really like um you know the things that i eat and kind of an insight of the lifestyle that i live it really is easy it just all depends on the effort and the mindset that you want to put into it so if you guys really want to take your journey seriously like i said click the link below for my ebook on a guide to a plant-based lifestyle it literally goes over everything i put recipes in there i put tips and suggestions to help you stay on track i put grocery list mock-ups meal plans i put so much effort into these ebooks for you because I wanted a true in-depth resource of something that people can actually use to help them on their journey. A lot of people are shocked when they realize that I wasn't always vegan or I wasn't born a vegan. I had to reteach myself a lot of things and reshape my ideas and mindsets about food and nutrition and what it really means to be healthy and how to, you know, do it the correct way. So in the ebook, I go over everything in a beginner-friendly type of tone because i understand a lot of the people who are clicking the link are just uneducated and don't have the experience or don't know a thing about being plant-based and that's totally fine that's what it's there for it's there to help you so no pressure i will never force anything on you um, just know that if and when you're ready it will always be there for you guys and i thank everyone and appreciate everyone who takes the time to check that resource out. Something that I also implement into my lifestyle is making sure that I journal every night and this is just writing down my feelings, my ideas, my to-do list, my goals, my manifestations, you name it. It's kind of like my me time and not only does this set the tone for the night but it sets the tone for the following day so that you're set up to be successful and accomplish all your goals and that's exactly what I want you guys to do and I hope that I inspire you to just you know do whatever it is that you want to do but also to live a healthy lifestyle or try to be on that route so that wraps up today's video thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate all the love and support give this video a thumbs up if you liked it maybe comment if you want and maybe subscribe if you want to stay tuned with all my content follow me on the gram i have all my information linked down below and i hope to see you guys soon i'll be posting next friday so see you guys